Hello, today I want to share with you how to create these toggle buttons, which I use in my Power BI reports for toggling between uh, our dark and light version of Power BI reports, okay? So the first thing that we are going to do before heading to Figma is to get two nice pictures that we are going to use as the background of the toggle buttons. In this case, I have already gone to Onsplash, which is a wonderful resource for free images. And in this case, I have searched for this one, which is uh, mountains in the day, and this one, which is mountains in the night, one and one for each version. I have already downloaded these files into my local drive, so I have them ready to use. Now, back to Figma. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to insert a shape, and in this case, what we are going to insert is an ellipse, and we need to make this ellipse a perfect circle. So once we have inserted it, we are going to go to the pane on the right, and I am going to put that it's a hundred, a uh, hundred pixels uh, wide by a hundred height, and this way we make sure that we have a perfect circle. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to duplicate the element. For doing this, I am going to select this ellipse. I will pr press Alt on my keyboard, and then I will pull this one to the right. And that is the easiest way of duplicating an element in Figma. Now, we need these two elements to be inside a frame, and this is why we are selecting both. I will right click on it, and I will uh, select frame selection. You can also do it with Ctrl Alt G. In this case, I will do it with my right click and frame selection. Now, we already have the two buttons. One of them will be a transparent button, which will basically uh, covering the function of saving the space, of keeping the space uh, between the elements, uh, and the other one will be the visible button, uh, which are in a frame, and we can see here on our left pane the layers that we have. So we have a frame, and this will be our button. Then we have our ellipsic one, which will be our left element, or let's say like this is the button, and this will be the spacer. Now, the next thing that I am going to do is I will click on the layer that is called button, which is the frame containing the two ellipses, and I will click here on fill. In this case, I don't want a white fill, so I will click on the white square, and instead of solid, I will press and I will click on image. And this will take me to select the images that I want. I will do first this one, which is the night mode or the dark mode. Now. As you can see here, we don't have any space between the ellipses and the, the border of the, of the frame, and this is why we need to add it. But first, we are going to do something. Uh, in this case, we are going to apply, apply Auto Layout. So for applying Auto Layout, uh, I have selected the button uh, frame here on the left. I make sure that it is selected, and I will click on Auto Layout on the plus symbol, and I will press everything on the middle. This is horizontal because basically we want the elements within the frame to be horizontal. We have uh, the first one and the second one, which will be the spacer. Look what happens if I would do it downward uh, on a vertical way. Okay, but we don't want that. We want this on, on, on a horizontal way. The next thing is that we are going to add some padding to the top and to the bottom of the frame. In this case, I will go once more, make sure that I am selecting the bottom frame and I will go here and I will add, and let's try it with 20. Yeah, probably it's a little bit too much. Let's do 15. Yeah, I think it looks better. And also on the vertical padding, I am also adding 15. Probably I will do it 10 and 10. Yeah, it will look better. Now, uh, we are having something that can resemble a button, but the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to, again, make sure that we are selecting the button layer and in here, I will make and increase the radius uh, of, of this frame. By increasing the radius, we are going to make it more, uh, so the, 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 the corners will be a little bit more curved. And if we do it to 100, you, we will have what it's a peel-shaped uh, radius. So basically, we are very close to getting our toggle button. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is I am going to click on my spacer and I will remove the fill. So basically, this will make keep the element in there, but make it transparent. 
let's go and do it and in this case I can just click on this little line here and we are not showing the element but the element is still there as you can see uh, how it is uh, by these blue lines uh, it is mentioned where where it is uh, this element okay so now we have our first button let's just click on the white ellipses sorry on the ellipses and just change this to a white color and in this case I already have in here my styles and I will just leave it as white color okay so now we have our first button now how are we going to create the second one let's just name this one night the second one will be way easier so in this case what I am going to do is I am clicking on uh, the frame so I am making sure that we have select and we can do it two ways remember that you can press alt and then pull to the right and you have a duplicate of it you can also press press in this case control V like in double control D and you will have another uh, you will duplicate the element or you can also control C and control UV and you will have a copy of it now this one will be our day button and in this case what we want is that this button which is white to be on the right side and this is why what we are going to head to this pane and the only thing that we are going to do is that we are going to pull the spacer up and basically what we are doing is just changing uh, the location of the spacer and the button and as we have lay auto layout there is nothing else that we we need to, we require to do so basically now we have our toggle button on the other side now I am going to click on the day frame because we want to change the picture for it and in this case I will change I will click again on fill and I will choose the image and in this case I will choose the image of the mountains that are on the uh, that are uh, on uh, not on night but but on, on the day in here I will just do one small change because I, I want to see a little bit more of a uh, sky on the top so I will click on crop and I will bring slightly down this image so we have a little bit more of this nice blue sky in the background so now we have our two buttons but let's think that we want to test it before sending them into Power BI. So for this, we are going to go to prototype and in prototype, uh, what we are going to do, so we have the design pane and then the prototype pane. And what we are going to do here in the prototype pane is that we are going to uh, hover over our night button. And do you see that we have these small circles on the elements? So basically these are the circles that indicate that you can create a you can create a flow from this frame or from this element and in this case I will create a flow that directs to the day button now I will select the day button and I will do the same this one will take me to the night one so basically in here it's on click it navigates to night and the other one on click it navigates to day now I can click on my play button and this way we are going to test that actually our buttons looks nice and in here you will see how the toggle will work okay from day to night which looks pretty pretty nice I, I would say now the next thing that we are going to do which is very easy now is that uh, how can you export this button so basically uh, what I will do is I will uh, click on night you can also do both of them at the same time but this will export them as a zip file and I don't want to do a zip file because they are only two elements so I will select it I will go to design I will export my night my night button I will save as and then I will also export my day button I will click here on export and this will be as a PNG I will export my uh, day button again save as and I will save it on my temporary folder uh, and basically we have over there our two buttons now the next thing that we can do is we will open Power BI desktop uh, and I will show you very quick how I would use these two buttons in, in Power BI desktop so basically you see that this is a, a pretty uh, a pretty a blank 
report for Power BI Desktop, for in this case, what you have to, you can do. I will usually import these files as an image because they have a better fit. So I will click on uh, image on Power BI Desktop. Let me just quickly find my temporary folder. Okay. I have over there my button and then I will do the same for my night button. Now let me just quickly go to general properties 85 by 108 85 by 108 and now we have our two buttons obviously in here now you need to apply the bookmarks or the uh, or the actions that you, you would like to do right so in this case let me go back to my uh, two versions of the file so basically in here there are two different reports one for the night version and the other one for the dark version and in here let me just quickly edit this one I will show you that the action is actually going to a different web URL and basically it's going to the web URL where the dark uh, button is and the same with the dark button is going to the URL of the of the light version. Now, if you're interested about these dark and light teams, uh, I created a video and a blog post about uh, this one. So uh, in any case, I will invite you also to read that one. So that was it in this case for creating these buttons, these toggle buttons in Figma. I hope you find this one useful. Uh, please let me know your comments and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.